Hey guys, this is question MM081 of the Maths Methods Sharp and Study Guide. So we've got um, a question on the axes below. Sketch the graph of f of x equals x squared plus 4x take 1. Labeling all intercepts and the turning point in exact form. Cool. So, uh, there's a few different aspects to this. So I've got my own axis here, just so I don't screw up the one that I've printed out. We've got f of x equals x squared plus 4x take 1. And what we need to do is find all intercepts and the turning point in exact form. So let's uh, figure out the intercepts. So firstly, we've got our y-intercept, which is when x equals zero. So we get, oops, we get f of zero equals zero squared plus four times zero take one, which is simply negative one. Awesome, so our, we know that our y-intercept is zero negative one, and our x-intercept occurs when y equals zero. So we have zero equals uh, x squared plus 4x take 1. And because this is a quadratic, we're going to have to factorize this in some way or use the quadratic formula. So I'm going to go with the quadratic formula. So if you're not sure about it, the basically to use the quadratic formula, you have to have a quadratic with a zero on one side. So it has to be zero equals a quadratic. And then you can use the quadratic formula. So if you're not familiar with it, the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus minus square root b squared take 4ac over 2a. And you will get used to this um, and you will eventually know it off by heart. So a, b and c are simply the coefficients of the um, quadratic. So, oops, so the coefficient in front of there is a. So there's actually a one in front of there. This is b and this is c. So, um, from here, we know that b is equal to 4 according to uh, our quadratic. So negative 4 plus minus the square root of 4 squared take away 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 1, over 2 times 1. And then from there, we have negative four plus minus the square root of 16 plus four because we've got negative four times negative one. Uh, so plus four over two. Simplifying down, we get plus minus square root of 20 over two. And because this is a third, this is the same as four times five, which means that uh, we can bring the four out of the square root and change it to a two because the square root of four is two. In fact, I might even break this down pretty far for you. So this is the same as plus minus square root of five times the square root of four, because that equals 20. And then negative four plus minus the square root of four is two. And then we've just got a root five there over two. From here, uh, we can then take out a factor of two in all terms, which takes us to negative two plus minus root five, which means that our x-intercepts are negative two plus root five and negative two take away root five, which means our x-intercepts are negative two take root five, zero, and negative two plus root five, zero. Awesome. So we know that the square root of five is, because this is a non-calculated question and we have to express everything in exact form, uh, this is, we know that our uh, square root of 5 is slightly over 2 because the square root of 4 is 2 which means that the square root of 5 has to be slightly more than 2. Uh, so negative 2 take away slightly more than 2 is negative 2 which means that it's going to be less than um, just less than negative 4. So our x-intercept is going to be here and negative 2 plus plus just over 2 is going to be just over 0 which means it's here. So we know our x-intercepts we know our y-intercept, which is negative one, which is here, it's negative one. Uh, so we can sort of start to see the quadratic gonna be taking shape here, uh, but all we need now is the turning point. So how do we find the turning point? Negative b over two a. So the x value of the turning point is equal to negative b over two a, which equals uh, negative four over two times one. which equals negative two. Uh, and then what we do is we actually sub that back into the original equation. So we get f of negative two 
equals negative two squared plus four times negative two take one, which is four take eight take one, which is negative five. Which means that our turning point is equal to negative two, negative five, which is negative two, negative five, that's negative six, so negative five is here. Awesome. We can see this is a pretty good looking uh, parabola. And now all we need to do is join the dots. So, something like this. So try not to make that look too pointed. That was too pointed on my, on my part. I'm not perfect, guys. Um, now we need to label everything. So we need to label, uh, because the question tells us labeling all intercepts and the turning point in exact form. So our first intercept is negative two, take away root five, zero. Negative two, take root five, zero. And our second uh, turning point is uh, negative two plus root five, zero. Uh, oh, sorry, second x-intercept. Uh, our turning point is negative two, negative five, and our y-intercept is zero, negative one. So we've labeled all intercepts, our y and our two x's, and our turning point, which means that we've completed this graph, uh, which means that this is our final answer. So part B uh, asks us to express f of x in turning point form. So let's start by rewriting the regular equation. Equation. So we've got f of x equals x squared plus 4x take 1. And um, we have to change it into turning point form. So how do we actually change something into turning point form? Complete the square. That's just how you, you figure out uh, and change it into turning point form. So how do we actually complete the square? We What we do is we halve this. So we start by writing the first two terms out. We halve this coefficient and then square it. So half of four is two, and then two squared is four. So we add the four, and then we have the, the negative one on the end, and then we take away four, because if we've added four, we also have to take away four. So this is the process of completing the square. And then what actually happens is, we have this own term here, which is x squared plus four x plus four, take away five. So the negative one and the negative four create this negative five. And what this ends up being, is x plus two squared. So the reason that you have to do this is because this obviously changes this into turning point form. The only time that you can't do this uh, is when there's a coefficient in front of x squared. What you have to do then is actually take out the coefficient as a common factor of the whole equation and then solve the completing the square there and then times everything by the uh, coefficient at the end. So here, we can see that f of x is also equal to x plus two all squared, take away five, which actually uh, proves that our turning point is at negative two, negative five, which is what we worked out in the previous question. Uh, and this here is your final answer. It's only worth one mark, so that is your one mark.